So little bird told me you guys like the Urban Mac. Well, let's go ahead and play the Urban Mac UMR68. Beautiful, beautiful Mac. And I thought to myself, what could we do with that? And uh, well, we came up with this build. We've got eyes, we've got a mouth, and we've got uh, a weird stare towards the enemy. We've also got three small lasers and two streak SRM6s. Ladies and gentlemen, this build came together on the live stream. We were playing the Moro 2 for HP, my classic streak boat, raid boss, end boss build. And uh, we were thinking, I was saying, hmm, I wish I could run this on an Urbi. And then I thought to myself, well, maybe we can. And we built this glorious little abomination right here. Uh, the build is very simple. You use an XL engine 180. You use two jump jets. We have two streak SRM6s in the right arm. We've got three small lasers in left torso plus left arm. And the rest is just two double heatsinks on the right torso, one double heatsink in the left torso, and armor as much as possible, with, of course, the head uh, shaved off quite a little bit. Double heatsinks, endosteel structure, and light ferrofibers complements all of this. Now, the reason we have full arm armor is we want to make sure that we keep these weapons alive as long as possible. And especially the SRM-6 launchers, the strict shot launchers, as you can see, they are a pretty big hitbox, so you got to be careful with them. So you might actually want to defend more with the small lasers because they are the less damaging weapon. Now, what we don't have in here right now is a big active probe. We just don't have enough tonnage to fit this, unless, for example, we would go down to a smaller engine, maybe. But in order to fit the big active probe, guys, the Beagle probe costs us a total of 1.5 tons. So you would have to go down from a 180 XL to a maybe 170. So that could work. So if you want to try it, use the XL 170 and then uh, scratch the XL 180 for it, put in the Beagle Active Probe. The matches we played were played without the Beagle Active Probe. Top speed is going to be 97 kph, firepower 33. How much damage can we do with 33 firepower? Well. As always, the answer might surprise you if you follow the one commandment of the German Mechgineer, and that is keep firing, a-holes! Now let's go to the skill tree. Oh, and once again, uh, the videos you're about, going to, uh, you're about to see were done with this uh, skill tree, so, uh, well, <laughs> we had 10 skill points, okay? Nothing in survival or anything. So let's go ahead and quickly fill out that skill tree, so uh, maybe the newer guys can also see that uh, for a change here real quick. So all we want to do with the urban mech is, for sure, going into the left side of the armor tree here, so that we can get the most amount of armor possible for our little trash can of doom. And uh, I don't think we need operations or anything. What we do need is maybe auxiliary, go for double artillery strike, and maybe also go for cool shot cooldown and additional cool shot. And uh, now we have a lot of points available. Now, our main damaging weapons are the streak SRM6s, so I want to buff them as much as possible. So for that, of course, we want to need uh, want to go into missile rack 1 and 2. Uh, we don't need missile spread for that. What we could use, though, is heat gen, and we also need high explosive. Uh, that's looking good. And what we also need is range with this build. So let's try and gobble up some of those range nodes. Over here towards heat gen maybe. Down here as well. Get some more range. Here we go. And more heat gen. I was going to get another range node here. All right. I'm not taking laser duration because we're just using small lasers. 66 out of 91 points. So we can get some of the cooldown nodes to make us shoot a little bit more. Get this cooldown node. Get this cooldown node. And these two cooldown nodes. Ah, it's looking quite nice. Okay. So now we have 76 out of 91, so we can actually afford to go heavily now on the other side of the armor tree, grab two more points of armor, grab more um, skeletal density for more structure points, and as you can see, now at this point the build would be basically complete. I'm just trying to see if maybe we can grab another point somehow of skeletal density here, uh, but I would have to sacrifice a point of cooldown uh, for that. And I'm wondering whether that is a good choice or not. And uh, actually, no, we can actually remove that missile spread node because we don't need that. I just had that to get there to missile rack 2 a little bit faster. And because of that, there we go. Skeletal density 5 has been achieved. So that is the full skill tree. In the end, 91 skill points. And if you look at the mech right now, 49 side torso armor, 71 center torso armor, 47 on the legs, 42 on the right arm, 37 on the left arm. Quite a tanky little trash can of doom. It's going to be a joy to play, so let's take this bad boy into a dropship and let's find out exactly how well this bad boy runs. You might be surprised. I'll see you there.
Okay, so these small lasers are not generating any heat at all, so that's good. So it's just the Strix then that I have to worry about. I only have 360 rounds though. It's gonna go past quickly. Don't expect massive damage here, boys. If you get like 300 or so, I'm gonna be happy. Also, I should have brought an artillery strike. Oh well. At least I'm at an Urbi. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Why are you so slow? Keep it up. Are we gonna have a temp of defending a combine? And there's already the adder going for him. Going for our disconnected dude. Actually, we might go. Oh, another Urbi! Urbi and Urbi violence incoming! <laughs> Urbi and Urbi violence. Mola coming up. Delta Atlas. Yes, guys, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a fighting urban mech. I'm a member of the fighting urbies. Got laser AMS in that thing, okay. Just gotta keep firing, boys. Always keep firing. I have no idea what this guy is talking about. But I'm getting pushed by Fafnir. With Heavy Goose? No, 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 no! He's got Heavy Goose in that Fafnir! Fuck off, dude! Get out of my way! He's got Heavy Goose in that Fafnir! This guy just goes around the corner and just stands there. Okay, let's get up there. Let's get up there. Let's go ahead and shut up this idiot. Ah, oh, fuck. Who's on me? Oh, really? Okay. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. Oh, of course you got a butt buddy. What else would you have? And of course he's got ECM on that butt buddy. Because what else would he have? Hey, maybe we can get out of here, but I don't. I doubt it. It's gonna be hard. Get away from these morons. We're trying. Yeah, uh, shooting me in the back. Die! By the power of the urban mech! The power of Urbi compels you! Perfect. There are my two jerkos. Still over there. Got two guys Echo 4 up top. It's a Nova and a Phoenix Hawk. Whoa! Are oh, you still alive, dude? Luckily, now I can lock him. So, enjoy! Enjoy the power of the urban mech! Get fucked by the urban mech! <laughs> the power of the urban mech at the hands of the professional German. GG. And I almost went through all my rounds in the urban. 24 shots left, so that was like 24 streak sixes left, that's two shots. Um, let's see if we did our 300 damage. I think we did. One killing blow, nine assists, one kill most damage dealt. 850 damage done guys no artillery strike just an urbi with three small lasers and two streak sixes yeah <sighs> we've ranged it also very well 1200 is really impressive nice job that marauder also looked good 
The last assault that's still alive is our disconnect. <laughs> oh. That was fun. That was fun. GG. Kids don't like paper other than toilet paper? Yeah. <laughs> toilet paper is gonna be the new gold to that standard. Oh, hello there. You wanna be friends with me? Huh? Huh? You wanna be friends with me? You wanna mess with the Urbi? You wanna mess with the Urbi? Unfortunately, he's got stealth or something stupid. I can't lock him. Incoming. What Whistle. the fudge? Did he drop on the UV or something on top of me? I can't tell. Don't think so. Learn 15 ERP, 1 ERP PC. Okay. Okay, dude. Whoa. Another ECM dude on Echo 4. But my teammates haven't even made it to... Oh, hello. New what do we have here? Got a friend. He's gonna have a friend in me. Not gonna have such a friend in me. Oh, it's a Lerm Cougar! Is it really? Is it Christmas? Guys, it's Christmas. Yes, yes, turn around. Even better. What? I'm a little bit hot now. Maybe I should have kept my, um, you know, anti-heat stuff. What's it called? Cool shot. That's what it's called. Oh, okay, okay. That's how you're We're playing hard to get. All right, I can respect that. I need to cool down here. I basically have no cooling Not solution. Black Ooh, it's black. Oh, lots of PPCs in the blackjack. All right. Oh, I killed my target. What about you, team? Are you killing something? Not so far. Okay. Let's push that to five then. Oh, hello, cutie pie! Oh, it's a big cutie pie! Oh, he's so cute. He's gonna die. Horribly. Oh, damn it. Too close. Too close for comfort. Come on, come on. There we go! Take his leg. Take his life. Move somewhere else. Where are all these guys coming from? It's like I, it's like I started a party down here or something. They all wanna be here. I want to join TTB's party. Rip. Woo! There's the blackjack. Here comes the Urbi! The bringer of death and doom and destruction. The power of the urban mech. And you guys got an artillery strike in your faces. Fine. Whoa. What the hell? Team is blind. And you're like, TTB, tell us something new. We're actually losing this, believe it or not. You guys in Delta 5, whenever you're done watching the enemy, push in. Yeah, he's too close with his ECM bullshit, unfortunately. I need 120 meters to be able to do anything here. Yeah, we're dying here. Uh, we're dying due to garbage to your teammates once again. 629 damage though. Not too bad. Rip. <laughs> he stayed on target. Not bad. I mean the other guy just walked straight at him but hey. Oh, oh, there we go. Fresh stalker. ER mediums, ER larges, and learn 15s. Everything ER. And ECM, of course. <laughs> Gotta have everything extreme long range. And then you just walk around forever so you're never f in the fight. That makes sense. One out of five Corona edition. Currency is toilet paper instead of bottle caps now. Maybe. There we go. Come on, come on. Yes, yes, enhanced zoom. Yes! Yes! Airstrike online! Put the airstrike down! No! 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 Chain fire everything! Arr! 
Zoom! No, 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 wait, 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 aim somewhere else! Ah, shoot! Ah! Fire everything! 180 meters! Lerms range! Lerms are in range! Ah, finally the Lerms are coming out! You know, guys, those those damage numbers where I always wonder how the hell do you achieve them? I get it. I really get it. I really get it. Yeah, that's the last guy. Yeah, micro piranha. <laughs> it's not a bad build. It's just oh, yes. Oh, good shot. Good shot. Good shot. But. Uh, I think he's gonna lose his side torso any second now. Rip! Ah. But we were in the lead for a little bit in the beginning, but then the team just decided to die, I guess. Well then, two killing blows, five assists, one solo kill, two KMDDs, 629 damage done, 248 damage taken, six components destroyed, and top damage in my team with an Irby with three small lasers and two strict sixes. Um, I literally did more damage than all my assaults combined. Yes. <laughs> you can't you can't stage this shit, guys. Only real life does things like that. It's so great, guys. Try this early. It's fun.